my daughter said, don't go to this party. It was a party for me, but I went anyway. I was bitten by a mosquito. The bite turned very black. And I began sweating and I had chills. I became very feverish and she was very young and would like watched me crawling to the refrigerator to get food out for her because I, could, I stopped being able to walk. But I thought it would get better. It didn't get better. Uh, one day I woke up in the hospital and they said, well, you, you, you know, you almost died and you're, uh, you're paralyzed. I'd had encephalitis and meningitis. So I had severe brain damage and I couldn't use my hand, which when I found that out was uh, really shocking. Nothing would stay in my hand. I was too weak. And um, she actually put the pen in my hand and then closed it and then taped it so that I could draw. And uh, I start that way. I got the bite, but it wasn't the bite I thought it was going to be. It was a different bite, but it did make me a monster. And it made me understand being a monster. But it's okay. It, it, was, a, it was as good as it needed to be. I wasn't doing what I needed to be doing. I wasn't working as an artist at that point for my own work. In a way, the bite saved my life because if you lose something that you take for granted, all of a sudden it becomes extremely valuable to you. And also, you begin to realize that your life is not going to be forever. Well, it is forever. I think we live eternally. But in this lifetime, it's going to have a certain amount of time. And I. I knew that it had to be worth something. It had to be made more valuable. So um, that's what the book is for me. You know, It's taking back the ability to draw, but it's also communicating something that I think, I hope, has value to people. I'd had a vision while I was in the fever, and in the vision I saw this uh, big rock. It was like right in front of my face. And, and, you know, the angel of death had come to me, but the angel of death looked like a file cabinet. It, and it just said, D are you in or are you out? It was very matter of fact. It wasn't like there were no wings. It wasn't beautiful. It wasn't leathery. It didn't have fangs. It wasn't as cool as I wanted it to be, to be quite frank with you. It was just boring. And it said, are you in or you're out? And I said, I'm in, because I thought of my daughter. And then I saw this rock. And uh, it was right in front of my face. And I said, well, what is that? And then the voice said, it's what you have to get through. And I thought, well, what do you mean? And then it let me see inside that there was this core of gold inside the rock. And if I got through all this difficulty, I'd get to gold. And then um, it was gone. And then I began the process of recovery.